Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. PepsiCo confirms it will receive Tesla Semi Truck on December 1 at two facilities. Tesla Model Y was Norway's absolute sales champion in September. Idra finishes 9,000 ton Giga Press, Tesla expecting it any day now. And Tesla's Elon Musk shares ideas on how the Cybertruck's boat mode can work. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. PepsiCo confirmed recently that it is set to receive the Tesla's electric semi-truck on December 1st at two of its California facilities. We can confirm our first electric Tesla semis, December 1, 2022, supporting our Frito-Lay plant in Modesto, California, plus our PepsiCo beverages plant in Sacramento. We are looking forward to this next step in our PepsiCo positive journey and will provide more details once we have taken delivery, the company said. Last night, Tesla CEO Elon Musk tweeted that the semi had officially started production and would be delivered to PepsiCo on December 1. PepsiCo first pre-ordered the Tesla Semi in late 2017, after the vehicle was unveiled. It has been expecting delivery for several years, but supply chain shortages and battery constraints delayed the initial production of the vehicle. Musk had stated in an email to employees in 2020 that it was time to ramp up volume production of the Semi, but COVID-19 derailed these plans as the response to the virus shut down commerce and delayed projects across the sector. Tesla announced earlier this year that it would delay the release of new products in 2022, but the company has been able to defy many of the issues that have plagued other companies. Tesla pushed production of the Cybertruck to early 2023 and essentially slashed any possibility of a new production project beginning. The company's ability to launch production of the semi when it was planning on delaying new projects until 2023 is impressive and could ultimately be a sign of good things to come. Frito-Lay, a PepsiCo brand, operates the Modesto, California plant and has been preparing for the arrival of the semi for some time. The company has been installing megachargers at the site and testing the semi when it is available. Moving to the next update, Tesla Model Y was Norway's absolute sales champion in September. Tesla Model Y became the overall sales champion in Norway in September, registering four times as many units as vehicles with internal combustion engines were sold combined. The closest competitor, Volkswagen ID.4, was over 2,000 units behind, underscoring Model Y's dominance. September ended, and sales reports began to come from the automotive markets around the world. The numbers from Norway are impressive, as the country is moving the fastest towards a full transition from ICE vehicles to electric ones. Last month, EVs accounted for 89.1% of the country's market, of which 77.7% .7 were BEVs and 11.4% were PHEVs, according to data obtained by Clintechnica. This represents a marginal decrease from 91.5% year-over-year due to production difficulties arising from the difficult geopolitical situation and the COVID-19 lockdown in China in Q2 2022, which for the most part affected Tesla. Despite a slight decline in sales, the share of battery electric vehicles has risen, while the share of plug-in hybrids has declined. The total sales of all vehicles amounted to 14,646 units. Sales of internal combustion engine vehicles continue to lose volume, with 781 units sold in September, compared to 956 units in September 2021. Tesla regained its strongest position in the Norwegian automotive market after a weak start to the quarter. Tesla Model Y became the absolute and unattainable sales leader, with 3,063 registered units. That is four times the sales of ICE vehicles in a whole month, and almost four times the sales of its closest competitor. In second place, with 903 units, was Volkswagen ID.4. The manufacturer was unable to increase production and deliver more cars to the country, so it was far behind Tesla Model Y. In third place was Skoda Enyaq, with 620 sales, only a few units ahead of another model from Tesla. Model 3 with 602 sales, came in fourth place. 
Polestar 2 finished 5th with 343 units. The overall table for Q3 looks almost the same as in September. Tesla Model Y is in 1st place, with 3,443 units. In 2nd place is Volkswagen ID.4, with 2,991 sales. In third place is Skoda Enyaq, with 1,981 sales, while Tesla Model 3 is in fourth place, with 1,115 registrations. Closing out the top five is Volkswagen ID.5, with 863 units sold. Moving to the next update, IDRA finishes 9,000-ton gigapress, Tesla expecting it any day now. IDRA Group announced, that it has finished building and testing the 9,000-ton Gigapress that will be used to build Tesla's Cybertruck. In May, IDRA shared a video detailing the assembly of the massive machine. The company said that it is the first to build these large machines designed for the markets such as the automotive industry. It also produces the largest machines in the world, and the newest one will be used by Tesla for the production of the Cybertruck. Alex Tourville on Twitter noted that Tesla is already expecting the machine to arrive at Giga Texas. The machine left Italy in September and arrived in Houston, Texas on September 28. In total, there are 54 pieces, weighing 77,526 kilograms, Alex noted. Idra said that it was the first to receive production orders for 9,000-ton machines that can be used for small truck and SUV markets. It noted that when it began these projects, it seemed impossible at the time, but IDRA is now able to provide gigapresses with fairly standard delivery times. In September, IDRA shared a photo of its new Tesla Model Y, noting that it was time for a change. The Model Y was built using IDRA's products. The gigapress staps out half of the Model Y's frame, which allows Tesla to design the chassis from only two pieces instead of many. Moving to the last update, Tesla's Elon Musk shares ideas on how the Cybertruck's boat mode can work. Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently provided some insights on how the Cybertruck's planned boat mode might work. Musk's suggestions were actually practical, making the idea of a seafaring Cybertruck sound quite feasible. Musk's ideas were shared on Twitter as a response to longtime Starbase watcher RGV aerial photography, which estimated that traveling through the channel route to South Padre Island from Starbase would take about 15 to 25 minutes. This is if the Cybertruck crosses the channel at an estimated speed of about 3 to 10 knots. Elon Musk responded to the post, noting that an electric propeller mounted on the Cybertruck's tow hitch would allow the all-electric pickup to move faster than a few knots. Musk also noted that the novel hub design would likely be able to help the Cybertruck generate some thrust in the water. You'd need an electric propeller mounted on the tow hitch to go faster than a few knots. There might be a creative wheel hub design that can generate meaningful thrust, Musk wrote. Musk's ideas for the Cybertruck's boat mode may seem quite simple, but they would likely involve quite a lot of work on Tesla's part. The Cybertruck is bound to be a heavy vehicle, after all, so designing a propeller that can be mounted on the tow hitch that's capable enough to push the vehicle on water would likely be a challenge. The same goes for wheel hub designs that can generate thrust. When Elon Musk announced that the Cybertruck would be able to cross the channel from Starbase to San Padre Island, many were skeptical. However, considering that the channel the vehicle would have to cross is only about 477 meters, the idea actually seemed feasible. As Musk noted, the Cybertruck would have to be waterproof enough so that it can briefly serve as a boat. Musk's recent statements about the Cybertruck's boat mode have prompted warnings from agencies such as the Washington State Department of Natural Resources. In a post on Twitter, the Washington State DNR noted that any vehicle that serves briefly as a boat, such as the Cybertruck, as Musk noted, should definitely not be used as a boat. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.